Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to continue to explore the gameplay of the tenants. So let's dive in. We are presently in the suburbs. And we are working on the 10 grand achieved. Sign a lease agreement for a tidy sum. Ask sign a lease with a rent over $10,000. We don't have a property that we could rent for ten thousand dollars we could attempt this auction but unfortunately we don't have enough cash the opening bid for a whole place right here is two hundred and thirty five thousand one hundred dollars we only have one hundred fifty eight thousand and sixty six dollars and that is the cheapest auction so we are gonna have to take jobs to get our personal cash up so let's look for a job and the highest paying job is sebastian french at masonic hill road 98 i love rugs they've been my passion since childhood it would be wonderful to live in an apartment full of rugs requirements renovate apartment for a rug lover budget thirty six thousand two hundred dollars finishing guidelines first impression preferred furnishing and they don't mind the walls the payment for this job will be twenty two thousand three hundred and fifty dollars let's accept that job and head on over to masonic hill road 98 here we are at masonic hill road 98 let's send uncle steven to begin cleaning uncle steve's going to plaster walls he's going to clean up some puddles he'll spray the mold on this wall and he'll just clean trash spray the mold on this wall try to repair this dance pole so this apartment is going to be for a rug lover i wonder if it's going to be a studio apartment or something else uncle steve's doing a great job as usual we did increase uncle steve's walk speed so as you see he's moving a lot faster than he normally does which is great because when we have those time jobs he'll be able to move faster he was unable to repair this dance pole so we're going to have him dispose of that and we're going to send uncle steve on out as there's nothing else for him to do and we're going to begin the renovation. They want two bathrooms, two bedrooms, a dining room, and a kitchen. The tags they want are cottage. They don't want basic. Okay, we're gonna put the bathroom number one over here. Maybe I'll make this one of the bedrooms. This is gonna be really, really interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I think that's all the rooms I need. Let's put some doors on it. They want cottage. So let's put some cottage doors on here. So we're gonna work on bathroom number one. They want linoleum and green walls. We're gonna do a contemporary floor in here and it's gonna be blue. They don't want basic. We're gonna do a $40 wall. They don't mind the walls. So they want a shower cabin. We'll give them this contemporary simple shower cabin. And we'll put that right on this wall. They want a toilet. We don't want basic. So steer clear of that. We're gonna put this $450 toilet right there they want a toilet paper we'll do this modern toilet paper they want a bathroom sink we'll do this contemporary bathroom sink right there they want a towel rack we're gonna do this heater tower rack because it's cottage and they prefer that they want a rug they love rugs so we need to think about that this rug was provided by the client we'll put that right there they want a toilet brush we'll give them this modern toilet brush it gets more points if it's near the toilet so it'd have to be on this side but it's telling me it's blocking it so we'll put the toilet brush over here we've met all the basic requirements in this room it's a D out of a B. I'm going to try to put one of the bedrooms right here. So we're going to do this room in a hardwood floor. We'll do this cottage floor. They want blue walls. We're going to give them this contemporary ocean blue wall. They want a single bed. I'm going to give them this cottage bed. We're going to change the color of it. We'll make it blue. We'll put this cottage bed against this wall. They want an exercise bar. I'm going to put the exercise bar right there. They want a rug, of course. This one was provided by the client, so we'll put that on the bed. We'll put a cottage wardrobe right there. We're going to put this cottage bookshelf right over here. We want a trophy. We don't want basic so we have to avoid the basic most of these are basic so we're going to give them this classical statue we want audio system uh, let's see if we can put this audio system on top of this we can there we go i'm going to change the color variant of this bookcase to a, a blue and a white i don't know if i can change the color variant on this to a blue and a white can we change the color variant on this we can let's make it a white we need wall shelves i'll put this cottage wall shelf right over here i'll make it a pale blue and we need one more cottage wall shelf so we could put it right there they want motivation posters we can do it's your time to shine work hard right next to the exercise bar we need some oriental wall decoration this oriental wall decoration we will make it a red we'll put that right over here we'll put this oriental lamps on a rod right over the bed we've met all the requirements for that room this other bedroom we want carpets or linoleum we're gonna do this dakota gray carpet we're gonna do this contemporary grass green wall it is the same paint that is used in the bathroom we probably had a two for one sale and i think we'll do the cottage bed that we 
did in the other room. We're gonna do a green in here. We'll put the bed right there. They want a cabinet. They want two of those. We're gonna put this cottage cabinet right here near the bed. They want a dresser. Use this cottage simple dresser right here. We'll change the color variant to this creamy white because it matches the creamy white cabinet near the bed. We're gonna move the cabinet that was over by the bed over on this wall. I'm gonna put a television on it. I'll put this $999 television on it. I'm going to get another cabinet and I'm gonna put it right next to the dresser so it makes the dresser look really long. We need a nightstand as well. Now we have to avoid basics so we're gonna use this Cottage 3W set of drawers. We'll put that right near the bed. I'm gonna change the color variant to a creamy white. We need a big plant. Put this bamboo plant over here in the corner. We need another big plant. I'm gonna put this rubber plant over here near the door. We need a rug because this person loves rugs. They just love all the rugs. We're gonna put this contemporary blang rug in here. This one was provided by the client. Let's see if I can change the color variant. I can to a green. We need a mirror. I'm gonna put this star mirror right there. We have met the basics in this room. We need to go off to the bathroom. And we got $24,110. So this is gonna be our second bathroom. We want a tile in this room. We're gonna put this $40 checkered porcelain stoneware tile down. We're gonna use that lovely green wall that we've been using in every room. They had a big paint sale. We need a bathtub. We have the stone bathtub provided by the client. It is a cottage bathtub. We want a toilet. We're gonna use the pigeon toilet. We'll put it right next to the bathtub. They want a bathroom sink. We're gonna use that contemporary fancy bathroom sink. They want a toilet brush. We're gonna use the modern toilet brush we used in the other room. They want a plunger. We'll put that right next to the toilet brush. They want toilet paper. We're gonna use this modern toilet paper. We want a towel rack. We're gonna use the heater towel rack. And because it can touch the sink and the bathtub is very, very happy. We need a rug in here because they just love rugs. They're the rug lovers. We'll put this blank rug in here. It's green. Matches the walls. We've met the basic requirements in bathroom number two. Let us go off to the kitchen. For the kitchen, we need hardwood floors. We're going to do this cottage hardwood floor. If they want green walls, of course, we're going to use the green walls that they had the paint sale for. We want a cooker. This cottage oven was provided by the client. We're going to change it to a green and the tag is cottage, so it'll work in our favor. We need a kitchen hood. This cottage extractor was also provided by the client. We'll put that right over the cooker. We need three kitchen cabinets. This cottage kitchen counter was provided by the client. We'll put that right next to the cooker. We also need kitchen wall cupboards. This wall kitchen wall cupboard was provided by the client. So we'll put that right over here. I'm going to move this over a little bit so it's right under that. We need a refrigerator. We're going to use this greedy fridge because it was provided by the client. We're going to change the color variant to a green so it matches the cooker. We're going to do this cottage counter with drawers over here in the corner and then we'll do the other kitchen cabinet right there and we need another kitchen wall cupboard we will use this pearl corner one right there we need a kitchen sink we'll put this cottage kitchen sink over here i'm gonna move this kitchen drawer over here i'm going to put the kitchen sink right between the two of them and i'm gonna move this cupboard into the corner right there we'll use this purple jar we'll put it on the shelf there we'll use this green jar i wonder if i can put it on the top i can i'm gonna use this purple jar up here I'm gonna put this cottage chair right here because they want a seat in here. They want a kettle. We're gonna use this cottage kettle. We'll put it right over here on the shelf. They want a kitchen scale. We'll put that kitchen scale on the shelf right there. They want kitchen utensils. I'm going to rotate this a little bit so I can slide the knives and spoons over the cooker. We'll put this knife block on the counter. I'm gonna put this wooden star over the sink. They want a rug, of course, because they're rug lovers. We'll put this blank rug in this room as well, right in the middle. They want some more wall decor. I'm gonna put this cozy home sign right over this chair. I need one more wall decor. I'll put this maze design right here behind the door. And we've reached all of the basic requirements in the kitchen. But I want a lamp, so we'll put this cottage lamp right on this dresser right there. They want another lamp. I'm gonna put this trid lamp right here in this room near the bed. I'm gonna move the electrical box over here. We need to put a clock, so we're going to put the clock right here in this room on that wall. So that's all our common items. When they want a trumpet, it's the preferred furnishing. So we're going to put the trumpet into this room. We are now in the dining room. We need to finish it in a hardwood floor. We're going to use the basic ash floors that we've been using in all of the rooms. They want blue walls in here. Don't know if we have a cottage. We do. We're going to use this diamond blue wallpaper in this room. It is classic. It is cottage. They want a table. The star table is cottage. We'll put that right there. 
there. They want four chairs. We're going to use these cottage chairs. We'll use four of them. They want a rug, of course, because they're a rug lover. We're going to use this long red carpet in here. We're going to change the color variant to a gold and white. They want two wine racks. We're going to put a wine rack right here. And we'll put another wine rack over here. What are you saying? What? What's blocking it? Piece of furniture is blocking it. I'm going to move the dining room table a bit. We need wine racks in here. They're very particular where we can put this wine rack. It cannot go by the door, as you see. Uh, for some reason, the door is like, no. I'm going to put this, this right here. It won't let me do that either. All right, we need to move this slightly. Like right there. Yeah, nothing's... Oh, it's being blocked. All right, we'll move this a little bit there. Yeah. This room is very, very tight. Okay, so we need bookshelves. I'm going to put a bookshelf bookshelf back here. I'm going to try to put wall cabinets on this wall. Hopefully it will allow me to do it. We're going to use this posh cottage Leroy cabinet. We'll put that right there and I'll put this second cabinet right next to it and it fits. And we'll try to put this bookshelf right in between the two of them, which it won't allow me to do. I'm going to take a look at this. It's not perfectly aligned. Oh, they want wall shelves in here too. So we got the two wall cabinets next to each other. Okay, so we got one bookcase in here. I wonder if we can fit that other bookcase in here. I'm going to put a bookshelf like right here. Nope, it won't let me do that. Move this more in the middle of the room like that. Okay, everything's good now. Okay, let's try to get these wine racks that don't want to go anywhere. These wine racks don't want to comply with wherever we put them. So I'm going to try to put one there. I'm going to try to put one right there. And I am going to try to put another bookshelf over here. There we go. We're able to do that. I'm going to see if I can find that clock that I had to remove. We have a cooker. What are you talking about? Is it always because it's this is blocking? It's not blocking anything. We don't have things yelling that it can't be put there. We're gonna try to get these two wine racks in and hopefully it won't yell at us. The wine there. All right, it's saying no. I really wish the wine racks went on the wall. Okay, I had to sell one of the bookcases and move this wine rack over here to make it work. Okay, I'm going to try to put this cottage book stand right here. Now, while it's telling me it would increase the item's decor score by placing it up against the wall, if I do, it will block the door and it won't let me put it there. So we're not going to be doing that. We're going to put this cottage wall shelf over the wine rack right there. I'll change it to a pale brown and I will put this contemporary wall shelf right here. And the room's a little tight, but we have fit everything in there. We have met the basic requirements for this room as well. We just got to put a clock in here. Wondering if I can put this clock over here in this tiny little space near the door. Nothing is being blocked. We fit all the things into this room that we need to, with the exception of a candlestick. We're going to put a wedding candlestick on the wall over here. And we have met all the basic requirements. Let us take a look at this. The dining room is an A out of an A prestige. The bedroom is a C out of an A. This bedroom is a C out of an A. Both bathrooms are D's out of B's. The kitchens are D's out of A. So let us try to do something about this kitchen. And it looks like Robert Bruce needs something. You there? Something's going on with my fuse box. Could you take care of it? Yeah, I'll send in a pro. We could probably put some sort of lighting in this kitchen. We're going to put this triplet lamp over the counter. We could probably put some sort of plant in here. We could put these potted calla lilies over here on the counter. The kitchen is now a C out of an A. We could put this temporary salt and pepper shaker over here right in front of the lilies. I'm gonna put this twilight pyramid poster over the bed in here. I am going to put this shiba poster in the bathroom. I'm gonna put a zen simple cactus on this shelf right there. I am going to hang this zen contemporary plant in the bathroom over the tub. I'm gonna hang this plant right here. I'm gonna hang this plant right here. I'm gonna put this round cottage mirror over the sink. I'm gonna put this round cottage mirror over the sink in this bathroom. I'm going to hang this three want mounted wall plant in this bathroom. I'm going to hang this plant right behind the table. Both bathrooms are D's out of B's. The bedrooms are C's out of A. The kitchens are C's out of A. Probably hang some more plants in there. Plants make everything better. I'm going to hang this three mounted agave right there and I will hang another three mounted agave on the other side. So this is like a plant wall area. The kitchen is still a C out of an A. The Bedrooms are C out of A's. We put this Zen simple plant up on this shelf. I'm going to put these classical roses right on this end table. I'm going to put this art sculpture on the bureau right there. We have $8,803 remaining. I'm going to put this modern simple cube on the shelf right here. I'm going to put this modern simple cube on the bureau over here. The bedrooms are still C's out of A. I could put more rugs in here. I could put this greeny doormat over here. I'm going to put these cottage vintage Polaroid pictures in the bedroom. I am going to put these 
these cottage vintage Polaroid pictures on this wall right there. I'm going to put this cottage simple greeny doormat here by the door, but I'm going to change the color variant to a blue. I'm going to put this cottage simple doormat right there. I'm going to change the color variant to a green. The bedrooms are still C's out of A. The bathrooms are D's out of B. We have $8,413 remaining. I'm going to put the Zen Modern Aloe Vera plant in the kitchen next to the refrigerator. I am going to put this Zen Contemporary rubber plant in the bathroom next to the Shiba. And I will put this Modern Palm plant on the other side of the Shiba. The bathrooms are still D's out of B's. I'm going to put a rubber plant in here. And I will put an aloe vera plant in here. I should probably put lights in here. I want to put this triplet light over the bathtub because that's really safe. So the bathrooms are C's out of B's. The bedrooms are C's out of A's. The kitchen is a C out of an A. I'm going to see if I can put a clock in here. Get a pendulum clock. We can stick it right over the electrical box. We have $7,054 remaining. Let's take a look at what we have. Cottage. We get 37 cottage. Get more contemporary in the bedrooms and the bathroom. This bedroom is cottage. I'm going to deliver the job. The individual who hired us, who's a rug lover, they're in here and they're looking at the Shiba painting and they love the Shiba painting. They're walking into the blue bedroom and they are looking at the bookshelf and they love that it's cottage that's probably why they love it they are looking at the rug by the door and they love that as well they're walking into the green kitchen and they're looking at the overall design of the apartment for the rug lover and they just love it and here's our review sebastian french masonic hill road 98 we got five stars i thought only my brother-in-law could do such miracles with a putty knife and a paint roller it's better than i could have imagined here's a tip for good work required furnishings we got five stars Preferred furnishings, we got five stars. Floors, we got five stars. Walls, we got five stars. Prestige, we got four stars because the prestige in all of the rooms, with the exception of the dining room, was lower than they would have liked. First impression was five stars. We got a bonus of $4,470 with a total payout of $26,820. Our personal cash is $185,171. We do not have enough to participate in that auction, but I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.